And we back and today we're doing a Minnesota Timberwolves rebuild. Shout out to Lil Pumpkins and A Swervo for suggesting this. I'm kind of just knocking down every NBA team and then rebuilding them, trying to get them to titles. I like the Minnesota Timberwolves team. Like Carl Anthony Towns is a go-to guy already, though his overall has dropped a little bit from previous 2Ks. He's only 23, and he's of course gonna be our centerpiece of this rebuild. They got my favorite player of all time, Derrick Rose, even though he is on a one-year deal, and I don't know if we're gonna resign him. And they got players like Robert Covington, Dario. Where's Dario? Dario Sarge. It's just a bunch of like decent role players, but we need to get this team to the promised land for the first time ever. Right now, they are 13 and 15 as I'm recording this video after losing their last three, and I'm here ready to help them out. My number one thing, all right, you know, when I'm doing these rebuilds, I got like a little checklist to get a certain team to the promised land. First, we trade in Wiggins, all right. 16 points per game, 40% shooting. And you compare it to how much money he's making, it is just not worth it. Now, I got to say, these rebuilds are somewhat realistic, but not hyper-realistic. Like, in real life, how many teams are going to trade for him? I don't know. He is only 23, but honestly, I don't see him getting much better. So, let's throw Wiggins up on the trade block. I have a potential trade partner, but I wonder if they're going to pop up. Yes, it's, it's the Suns, all right? The Suns take a flyer on Andrew Wiggins to pair alongside Devin Booker. That's that's the idea here. Again, not ultra realistic, but they're giving us a top three protected first overall pick or first round pick. I wonder if I can get that completely unprotected, though. They want... Nope, nope, nope. We're not giving them a first. And then we get TJ Warren back, who's a guy that can help compete us try to make the playoffs this year. The one thing I really don't love about it is that we're giving up Josh... Um, but at a 70 overall, usually I do these three year rebuilds and in three years, what is it going to be a 75, 76? So in real life, obviously they probably wouldn't trade them, but again, not a super hyper realistic rebuild. There it is. TJ Warren. Welcome to the squad. All right. So now we have their first round pick and the Suns are probably going to be bad, but maybe they're a little bit better now that they have Wiggins. I don't really know. So the idea is to have TJ Warren run the four. Of course, we keep Robert Covington, let Derrick Rose run the shooting guard, and then we keep Jeff Teague at the one. Jeff Teague does have a player option, which something tells me he's going to pick it up for 19 million, but we'll, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. So the next move I wanted to do was to get a backup shooting guard. And I think Anthony Tolliver is kind of expendable right now. I know we, we would like his outside shooting, but we still have Dario. And now that we have TJ Warren starting the power four, we got two power fours coming off our bench. So we don't need Anthony Tolliver. So let's see if we can get a backup shooting guard for him. Antonio Blakely, no, because we don't want Cristiano Felicio's contract. I want this free agency period to be a good one for us and sign somebody that can help us. A second round pick for Wayne Ellington. I'll do that deal. He'll be our shooting guard off the bench because, again, I still want to start Derrick Rose. And this is what our lineup is going to look like for the rest of the season. Is this lineup good enough to make the playoffs? I don't really know. If we do make it, it'll probably be like a 7th, 8th seed. But regardless, it's going to be Jeff T, Derrick Rose, Robert Covington, TJ Warren, and Carthony Towns. The good thing I like about TJ Warren, at least as of recently, he's been shooting a three ball better. And 2K has his three-point rating already in the 83, which is great. Because last year, he was not a three-point shooter at all. 22% and then 26% before that. But this year, he's shooting the three ball very well. So he helps out that way. And then this offseason should be a good one. Because we will have a little bit of money. And maybe that's enough money to get us a decent player. But uh, I'm just going to get to seven games at this point. Let me load in the draft class so we have our upcoming rookies. And I'll see y'all at the end of the season. Kevin Durant won MVP. DeAndre Ayton defense. Not defensive player of the year. Rookie of the year. Spencer Dinwiddie wins six man of the year. After getting that contract, shout out to Spencer Dinwiddie, my guy. Um, defense player of the year went to Draymond. And Jordan Clarkson wins most improved. Coach of the year went to Nick Nurse. We finished with a record of 50 and 32, which is, of course, enough to get into the playoffs as the third seed, all right? Come on, man. Don't say I don't be doing this. It probably... What? Um, hello, 2K? When I tell you 2K is the most broken game of all time. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Keita Bates Droop. Diop, I guess how you pronounce it. 20. Let's go to my rotation. Zero. He's a reserve. He's literally a reserve, 2K. And they got the boy. <sighs> what sense does this make, bro? What? Can we see how many? Whoa, 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 wait. One second. One second. Look at this. Go back to it. 
At home, he averaged zero points per game. Away. He averaged four points per game away. Zero points at home. But somehow that equates to this season, he averages, hold on, 20.5. 2K is so broken. 2K is so broken. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Carthony Towns, he definitely would have averaged more if 2K wasn't really tripping. I, I really don't know what the heck is going on with 2K. How can you average four points at home and zero points away, but end up averaging 20? Without without being in my rotation. He's literally a reserve, which means that you know those players that sit on the bench? He doesn't even get a spot on the bench. Whatever, man. Whatever. 2K is so broken. I hate it. I hate 2K sometimes. Uh, but we're in the playoffs, man. We're going against the Portland Trail Blazers. We take game one. They take game two. I'm not expecting us to win anything right now because obviously our team is not good unless Kata Bates Diop is playing, I guess. But regardless, we're down 3-2. We go game seven against the Portland Trail Blazers, and we get eliminated in the first round, which, again, is fine. Us being there was even a surprise, especially when you think about the start of our season. In the Western Conference, it's so weird. We were the three seed, but that doesn't mean we were necessarily the favorite. But regardless, the Lakers and the Warriors are in the Western Conference Finals. The Lakers are up 3-0. The Lakers just swept the Golden State Warriors. This game is broken. This, he, they swept them. They swept them. The Almighty Warriors, they have five All-Stars and MVP of this year, Kevin Durant, according to 2K. This game is crazy. Whatever. All right, Kawhi Leonard wins the Finals MVP. Now it's time for me to get my real GM and on, okay? Let's go to meetings, make sure nothing is approved. Perfect. Draft lottery. How bad were the Suns? They had the worst record in the league? No. Which means that we need them to fall to the fourth overall pick. And they did. They fell. They fell. So we keep that pick. You, it was top three protected, which means that if they would have got the first overall pick like they were supposed to, we didn't get it. Until I think two years from now, something like that. So we have the fourth pick in the 26th pick, which is perfect. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good now. Even though they just, for some reason, that the Kata Bates D up thing is going to bother me for the rest of the day because it makes no sense. All right. Tom Thibodeau, as much as he's not a good coach in real life, his... You know, 2K numbers are too bad or grade C plus B and A minus. Is that, should we fire him? <laughs> I think, yeah, we're going to fire him. We're going to fire him. All right. We're going to give them a real nice coach at Jacob Underwood. Or, you know what? I'm going to throw Pop a contract. I know in real life, Pop will probably retire before he leaves the Spurs. But you know what? One of the greatest coaches of all time, maybe the greatest coach of all time. Why not give him a contract? Also, that guy. Um... Come on. Okay. Pop rejected, but regardless, we got a good coach. This is what I want to do. Mock draft. RJ is projected to go third. We have the fourth pick. I would want RJ to be our starting shooter guard. All right. I don't think we're going to bring back Derrick Rose because he's going to want like 15 million. And I got other plans with that cap space. So can we trade up to the second pick to be safe so we get RJ? So who has a second pick in this year's draft? The second pick. Is gonna go to the did the Bulls get it? The Bulls got the fifth. Second pick in the NBA draft this year was the Spurs. Wow. Do the Spurs want our two first? They want the almighty Kate Evades Diop. <laughs> Are they tricked by 2K's flaw 20 points per game? They might be. I'm willing to trade him away. I'm willing to trade him away. Um, and we also get another first round pick next year. That, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Crazy. NBA draft. I want RJ to be our starting shooting guard for the future. Him and Carthony Towns. And then whatever we do in free agency this year is going to be our big three. <laughs> the Boston Celtics end up the first overall pick. And they take Zion Williamson to be their power forward of the future, I guess. Um, in real life, that wouldn't happen because they have the Sacramento Kings pick. And this year, the Sacramento Kings are pretty decent. But uh, in 2K, the Kings suck. They never put respect on the King's name. But now with the second overall pick, the Timberwolves select RJ out of Duke. And there we go. That's all of our picks this year. 
I think that's a pretty solid, I think I did a pretty solid job right there because RJ has the potential to be very, very good in this league. He's already a, a 79 overall in this draft class and we need a, a shooting guard. We had Derrick Rose starting a shooting guard last year and as much as I love Derrick Rose, he's too small to really be a good shooting guard in this league. And this is what I expected. Jeff Teague accepted. So we're about to free up some cap space here. Because look at all these names. We need one of these free agents. Not Hassan Whiteside. We need one of these free agents. So in order to do that, we need to free up some more cap space. And that's going to be by trading Jeff Teague. This is a huge gamble because Jeff Teague is a quality point guard. And we don't really have that on the roster if we trade him. But my goal is, again, to sign somebody in free agency. I want to get off as much money as possible. So is there some team out there, the Brooklyn Nets, will give us two first rounders? Sure, I'll take it. And then I think I also have um, Gorgie Jang still on the roster. Yeah, no thank you. The Sixers want him for, for a first. Um, I'll take Mitchell Robinson. I like Mitchell Robinson. A second round pick? Cool. Okay, so I have a player in mind that I kind of want because I want him to get into a better situation. Tyus Jones for three million as a backup? Sure. Uh, there's a guy on, on, that's a free agent, Kimball Walker, but he's already got a offer from the Hornets and Kimball Walker's so loyal that he'll probably resign. but I'm going to throw him the, the most amount of money I could throw him, man, because I really want Kimball Walker to be on this squad. So Kimba gets an offer for us. Do we, we really just need a point guard. That's it. So we're going to throw one at Kyrie Irving as well. Both of these players seem like the type to resign, but you never really know. All right. You never really know. So I'm going to throw them both a max deal, max money I could give them. And just hope one resign, one signs with us. Kimba. 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 What's up, brother? Yeah, we, we got to lose Derrick Rose. We got to lose Taj Gibson. Tyce Jones got to Everybody has to go to make room for him, but I'm okay with that. Kyrie decided to resign where he was, but that... Kimba Walker is now part of the Minnesota Timberwolves. So that pick and roll of Kimba Walker, Crichton Towns is going to be nice. And then we have RJ Barrett at the shooting guard. Small four, we're going to have Robert Covington. At the power four, we're going to have TJ Warren. We're look. if you ask me, we're looking pretty decent. We're looking pretty decent. But we still got some more money. So we need a backup point guard. We need to, you know, we need to fill out the roster with quality backups if we can. Um, Kimba Walker on the squad. What's up? All right, let's go into player progression. Let's see how our guys got better. Uh, Carlton Towns gets better. Kemba Walker is in his prime. He don't get much. He don't get no better. TJ Warren doesn't get better. Um, we do get Dario to be a little bit better. Now this has got me wondering if I should start Dario. Um, I guess we got to figure that out. Robert Covington gets a little bit worse. We did bring back Todd Gibson for like $4 million. So I'll take that. And Cal Corvers is just a roster filler regardless. Um, so now I got to figure out what I want to do now. Because we got a lot of first round picks. So is this the type of year we like, you know what, screw it, and let's just go all in. We got Kimba, we got Carlton Towns, both players all-star caliber, obviously. Do we just go out and say, yo, let's win a championship this year? Do we just do that? I got to figure it out. I got to see what Robert Covington's trade value is. Again, in real life, I really like Rocco. I really like Rocco. But um, in 2K, he's starting to get worse, and I don't like that. So we'll send Kimba. Actually, let's send... Big man defense camp car at 30 towns. Yeah, we, we could use that. But now we got some real decisions to make. Fill out the roster with who you want. Because if we look at our rotation right now, Kemba, RJ, Rocco, Dario, and Carthony Towns. And then I did pick up Pat Bev to be our, our defensive shooting uh, point guard off the bench. I got some decisions to make. So give me some time. I'll figure it out because we do have that Spurs pick. We have the Nets first round of this year. So we got some picks that may be pretty valuable. The Spurs pick is two stars. That Nets pick is two stars. So what if I can legitimately get a third option? Like a real good third option with one of these picks. So uh, I'll be right back. This is the deal that I came up with. TJ Warren, Todd Gibson, that first round pick from Brooklyn, and Cal Corver for Julius Randle and Quentin Grimes. All right. Um, I, again, I really like Julius Randle in real life and in 2K. He always comes in and he's just very, very good. So that's I think he is our third scoring option right now. And they gave us Quentin Grimes, right, who's a rookie. He was drafted 11th overall. He's got some high potential. So we may just flip him right now and get somebody else that can help win right now because our future is RJ. We don't need two future shooting guards, especially not for my rebuilding video. So maybe we flip him real quick for somebody. And we're going to trade for Josh Richardson, Quentin Grimes, Alec Burks, two seconds, Josh Richardson, and an unprotected first. An unprotected first in Miami is going to be clutch. And that's what this is how we're rolling out right now. Um... 
I don't know who to start between Robert Covington and, and I think I'm going to start Josh. And I think we're good enough to compete this year. But if not, we basically got everybody still wrapped up, right? Carney Towns is wrapped up. Kimba's wrapped up. Julius Randle. Um, Dario is not, but uh, he'll be restricted. Robert Covington is like everything that matters about this team is wrapped up. So if we don't win a championship this year, we got another year of Julius Randle getting better. Another year of Carthony Towns getting better. Another year of RJ getting better. So if we don't win a championship this year, next year, I'm like almost positive. So let's just get right into it. Um, again, last time I look at the rotation, nine man rotation. We'll keep that. We got a backup center. Yeah, let's go. Giannis won MVP. Zion Williamson wins rookie of the year, a part of the Boston Celtics. That team is going to be tough, y'all. Um, Struder wins six man. Defense player wins Kawhi. Jaren Jackson Jr. wins most improved. Coach Bud wins coach of the year. Now, do we have any Minnesota Timberwolves players in this all NBA? Nobody. Nope. They not showing respect to Minnesota, huh? Nope. Not all. Okay. We got rookie RJ Bear. There we go. But that's it. That's really it. So we did end up with the best record, I think, in the entire league, maybe. Uh, let's see. Conferences. Yes, in the entire league. But that was not good enough for us to be coach of the year. Or for us to have a single player on the all-NBA team. Whatever, though. 2K always snubbing our guys. Let's take a look at our stats. Kemba averages 22. Carl Towns averages 18 and 12. RJ averages 18. You know, as a rookie, that's really good. Julius Randle averages 16 and 9. Uh, we just play very well as a team. Even Mitchell Robinson got some run and played decent. All right. First round, I'm going against the Portland Trailblazers. I'm pretty sure that was a team that eliminated us last year. I kind, I'm kind of curious to see how much Beta, Kata Bates, Droop. I'm probably saying that man's name wrong. But I think we traded him to the Spurs. He averaged 11 for the Spurs. But now he's a 78 overall, so he's decent. But we had to we had to trade him when we, when we had the chance. All right. But look, now we go to his career stats. And what happened to that 20? You feel me? 2K's, 2K's trash. 2K's trash. They just forgot about that 20. And look at the this guy. You know, they're rookie averaging that much. But let's go. First game against the Portland Trailblazers. They they beat us last year, but this year I am 100% sure we're getting out of this first round. I may be confident enough to say it's a... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Not that confident to say it's a sweep because they already won a game, but we should get out of it to go against the Houston Rockets. Okay. I'm guessing the Houston Rockets team is basically the same because they don't have money to change it up. We're better than this team. Yes, they're very top heavy, but the rest of the roster we're better than. So let's go. Let's go, boys. I believe in us. And the next round, we may go against the Lakers. Okay. Game one against Minnes against Houston, we win. Game two. Oh, come on, boys. I like it. 2-0. We can't go up 3-0 for some reason. Our boys can't go up 3-0. But there's 3-1. And we will end up being in the Western Conference Finals. All right. So we may end up winning the championship this year. LA. LeBron. Who, does LeBron have help? I don't know if they signed anybody. I mean, like, big time help. They got Boogie. Oh, okay. So, yes, they have help. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Ingram's an 85. Kuzma's 84. And Lonzo's an 86. So, yeah, they got help. They even got Dwight Howard back. Zebo and Sean Livingston. Isaac Bonga. Zaza. Oh, stay away from Zaza. Okay, we won game one, though. Game two is a dub. We cannot go up 3-0. For some reason, this roster can't go up 3-0. Oh, game five. We get win game five, game six. We're in the finals against the Almighty Raptors. I like it. I like it a lot. Eight man rotation now since we're this is the home stretch. Even though Mitchell Robinson is on fire in the playoffs, he's averaging four and five. That's on fire for Mitchell Robinson and the amount of minutes we give him. Okay, y'all know this Raptors team is always very good. They still got Kawhi, Kalari, everybody basically, and now they have a Nance Cancer as well. Huh. Game two. Game three. We can never go up 3-0. But we may. Yeah, we're up 3-1. It should be a championship win. It should be. Come on. Don't blow the 3-1 in the finals. There it is. And Carthony Towns wins finals MVP. Only averaging 18. But this roster is so good that uh, 18 points per game is good for them. Okay, cool. But like I said, we still got everybody wrapped up. So should we go for the repeat? I think we go for the repeat, y'all. So, okay. Let's go to league meetings. Decline everything. I think we we have some unprotected first round picks from some people, don't we? Listen, I keep telling y'all. Didn't this happen in the last video as well? We won a championship and we ended up with one of the top picks. This 
third pick, the ninth pick, and then the 30th pick. Let me load in the 2020 draft class because I continue to not only rebuild for right now, but also for the future of the franchise, y'all. Come on, man. Kenny got it. We always do this one by NBA Superstar 20, uh, 22. His, his draft classes are really good. So what pick do we have? The third pick? Um, I can dig it. I can dig it. Like right now, maybe we draft another small forward or power forward for the future. I don't know. Of course, we got RJ for the future. Carl Anthony Towns, believe it or not, is still for the future at only 24. But let's go straight to the draft. Um, do we want to trade up? Is there somebody in this draft class that's good enough for me to want to trade up for? I don't know much about the 2020 draft class right now at all. Like close to nothing. Maybe we just draft. Who? Oh my God! I don't know what this guy's name is. A nope, not trying to pronounce it. Lamelo is in this draft class. Um, but yeah, I don't know many of these people, and don't seem like many of these people are very good either. 74s and stuff. So we'll keep the draft pick we have, and uh, let's go straight to the NBA draft. Lamelo's in this draft class, which is funny. That's very funny. Do we draft Lamelo? If Lamelo's there at nine, I'll draft Lamelo. How about that? If he's there at nine, I'll draft him. Just to see what LaMelo will be about, okay? So, this guy is projected to go third. Power forward, 20 years old. NBA comparison is Antonio McDice. Or do we go with a point guard? Kemba Walker's 30 years old. We signed him for like four years. So, this guy will be 23 when we finally give him the ball. He's projected to be like Sleepy Floyd. I'll go with this guy. All right, so we're at the end of the draft. We took this guy third overall. He is only a 73, which is okay, because, I mean, I don't need him to come in and be good. You know, our roster is already good. LaMelo went to the Wizards to back up John Wall. And with our ninth pick, we took this guy. Again, I don't know anything about this draft class, so maybe these are terrible picks. I really don't know. I basically went off what they were compared to. This guy was compared to, like, Metal World Peace, and that's that's pretty solid because Metal was a quality player on the championship team once upon a time. And then with the last pick in the first round, we took Sharif O'Neal, Shaq's son, who's projected to be, like, Marvin Williams, I guess? But regardless, you know, it is what it is. We got some players for the future while also being decent now. We're going to sign all of them. So I don't think we have any money. We'll keep Mitchell Robinson for $1.8 million, even though he probably will get a deal. Dario Sarge, we're going to keep also just basically matching anything these guys get. I want to see what our player progress is like. What did RJ turn into? He is now at 83. Even Kimball Walker at year 30, at, at age 30, got better. So we'll take that. Uh, Julius Randle again gets better. Mitchell Robinson's better. Dario's better. And then Robert Covington gets better, which is confusing because last year he got worse. But I guess it's when in the championship got people's potential up or something. I really don't know. We bring in Darren Collison and Justin Holiday to basically fill the roster. So again, this is the roster going into year number three. Hopefully good enough to repeat. Only time will tell. I'll be back very soon. Giannis wins MVP. I don't care about nothing unless it's my team. Jabari Parker, most approved. Shout out to Jabari making it happen. We were 60 and 22. I don't know if that's better than last year. I haven't really been paying attention. But Kimba made 13 Law NBA. So they finally put some respect on one of my squads. And I appreciate that. Look at the stats before the season is over. Kimba, wow. Cardney Towns dropped a bunch. But, I mean, he still shot super efficient. You know, he shot 50, about 57%. Um, I guess they just didn't need him to score as much as he used to. Kimba was hooping this season. And then RJ got better. The rest of the squad did their type of things. Let's go, man. First round. Phoenix Suns make the playoffs. I'm not going game by game no more. We too late into this video. We're going uh, round by round. First round. Phoenix Suns gets... No. we. Why can we never sweep a team, yo? I mean, I guess it don't matter in a grand scheme of things. But, like, a sweep feels a lot better than winning in five. Next, Denver Nuggets. 2-0. 3-0. We, we did it. All right. So now, you see what it means now? We get a little extra rest to prepare for the Utah Jazz. The Brooklyn Nets. Okay, I'm very curious to what the Brooklyn Nets have on their roster for them to make it to the conference finals. Steven Adams is now on the roster. Uh, their team is not crazy good. They, they got a lot of decent pieces, but they're not, like, crazy good. But okay. Utah Jazz. I'm feeling a sweep. I'm feeling it. 3-0. Nope. 4-1, though. Okay. And then finally, the Toronto Raptors again make it to the finals for the third year in a row. Will they win this time? No. 
and we do and Kemba Walker wins finals MVP averaging 27.6 and eight assists in those five games and that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching this um well we need something we need something to to know that y'all made it this far how about we show some love to RJ and we just type RJ if you got to this point in the video comment RJ so I know that you made it this far Another one of those teams that I was super happy to rebuild. I think we did a very, very good job, man. I think we did a very good job. Thank y'all so much. It's been Kenny. Peace.